Well, here on the Morning Blend, we talk a lot about workers' compensation and how you can get help if you find yourself in this situation. But what happens if you find yourself in a situation dealing with workers' compensation and you may need assistance in daily care? How is that affected? Well, Catherine Stone is back with us to help us. Catherine, good morning. How are you? Good morning. How are you? I am well. And I know this is one of those things that you must see at Injury Florida Law because we are bringing it to the table today. Attendant yes. care. You know, it's not something that we see too terribly often because um, attendant care usually is only seen in cases uh, like such as traumatic brain injuries or significant injuries where uh, limbs are affected or mobility is affected um, to a, a certain degree. And the big thing that everyone needs to know, um, and that I often have had clients come in for that initial consult and say, well, I have a family member that's been providing this care for me, washing and bathing um, in certain other I, um, things that they're offering that kind of goes above and beyond maybe what a normal familial relationship may be. And they want to try and get paid for that, or they want to know if their family member um, can get paid for that care. And the answer is retroactively, no, you cannot, unless there was a doctor's prescription by an authorized workers' comp doctor prior to that family member providing that care. Um, that changed in 2003. We used to be able to seek retroactive payments for family members or uh, attendant care providers through the workers' comp system. But in 2003, the state legislature changed that to where you have to have a prescription. And the prescription from your doctor must identify specifically the type, the amount, and um, you know, it has to be very detailed from the doctor about what type of prescribed care for you that they are making, then workers' comp would have the option of, of providing and paying that. And there are certain rules and ramifications, uh, certain rules about how family members get paid, how much family members get paid. It depends, did they quit a job? Did they have a job? Um, are they still working um, while trying to provide that care? And the big thing people have to understand is it has to come from a doctor. Everything in workers' comp is doctor-driven. Um, you can't get paid, you can't get family members paid unless the doctor has recommended it. And then there's the question of why is the doctor recommending that, something that may be above and beyond just the family relationship of, of people taking care of each other at home. Mm -hmm. You know what I think is interesting about this? The fact that you can't get that retroactive pay. I think that that just shows once again that if you find yourself in a workers' compensation situation, having you or someone like yourself on the side, that is key to make sure you're doing it right from day one. Right. And oftentimes, I, you know, I have this all now. I do have this situation where maybe someone's going in for a surgical procedure through the workers' comp system. And, you know, I inform them listen, if you're going to need some care at home once you get um, out of the surgery center or out of the hospital, you need to have that doctor write that prescription before you go in for surgery, not afterwards, because it ha the workers' comp has to have time to set that up. Again, these are all such important things to know and those time deadlines I know are crucial. And in fact, I thought I heard like an email ding right there, which shows how busy yes. you really are. And if people have questions or want to send you an email, InjuryFloridaLawFirm.com is where to go. Catherine, thanks for being with us today.